Hello guys, it's Meshtech here again. And today I want to make a little technical video about transfer data rates between USB and Wi-Fi on the RG350. Um, I thought I'm gonna start uploading a 5 megabyte file via USB and see what transfer rate we can reach with the cable connection and then I'm gonna compare it with the upload speed uh, on Wi-Fi. So let's start. As you can see I have my RG350 connected with the USB cable so I'm gonna start WinSCP and connect to the uh, 10.1.1.2 IP address which is our USB connection and I'm already located on my SD card it's on media and called RG3 minus 350 and I downloaded a file from this site here it has uh, different file sizes it's uh, made for file transfer um, comparisons and I started with the smallest file which is 5 megabyte I downloaded it and yeah let's drag and drop it and see what data rate we get over USB okay almost done as you as you've seen it was something around one megabyte per second okay that's quite good so let's delete this file again and plug in the Wi-Fi adapter so I'm gonna remove the USB cable and plug in my Wi-Fi adapter and this is the adapter that supports up to 150 megabit per second it should theoretically be something about 15 to 16 megabyte per second um, so much more than USB supports and yeah, let's connect to the Wi-Fi I already have this saved in GCW connect so I'm just gonna connect to it yeah it lost the connection here and yeah now we're connected um, gonna quit GCW connect and connect to my Wi-Fi here we are now let's repeat the same test here so we take the 5 megabyte file and drop it and as you can already see we don't read the transfer rates as we have on uh, the USB cable connection so it was something around 600 kilobyte per second and the other test I wanted to make was a um, direct download from the internet to the RG350 I just want to do it to exclude the overhead of WinSCP so um, yeah I connect to my 150 megabit dongle mm, okay we don't need this we don't need that let's enlarge this a bit okay we're gonna log in as root and I'm gonna change over to my SD card Okay, and from this site, I'm gonna, gonna get myself the download link to this 5 megabyte file. And I'm gonna write wget, paste that file in, the location, so the URL, and yeah, let's see what download speed we get here. Uh, as you can see, it's almost the same, it's a little faster, so it seems like. Um, WinSCP adds a small overhead to the speed so it decreases the speed a bit when you do it over WinSCP so this was the test with the RTL 8881EU driver so my 150 megabit Wi-Fi dongle I can show you at the moment it is this driver is loaded the 8188EU so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna unplug the the dongle 
Therefore, I switch over to GCW Connect. I'm gonna disconnect from this Wi-Fi. Yep, okay. Let's disconnect it. Now I unplug the 150 megabit dongle and I plug in the 100 and no, the 300 megabit per second dongle I got. It's a different chipset, so it comes with the. Oh, is this the end? Yeah, I think so. So it. It comes with the RTL 8892EU chipset. So let's connect to the Wi Fi again. And as you might see on the video, um, the other dongle also has a LED indicator on the top. So it's connecting now. And yeah, here we are, it's connected. So we can quit GCW Connect and repeat our test. So now if I reactivate, restart my session here, oh, the session won't work because the other adapter has a different IP address. Since it's a different adapter, it gave it a different IP address. So I'm going to start with this IP address. And we repeat the same test with this adapter. Okay, we are locked in. Just to show you guys, this time with the other adapter, it loaded the RTL 8192CU driver, since it's a different chipset. And before we do the test here, or no, let's let's do the test right, right here. Um, Gonna copy the same file again to my SD card. Okay, what do you get? And yeah, yeah. I, as you can see, it literally doesn't make a difference in download speed over Wi-Fi. So both adapters, even though the first one is only supports a speed up to 150 megabit per second and this one up to 300 megabit per second it doesn't make a difference so um, it seems like the bottleneck is somewhere else it's not the Wi-Fi dongle or the Wi-Fi transfer speed it seems to be something software related maybe on the device itself I don't know if it could be the CPU I don't know so last but not least let's repeat the same test with uh, WinSCP <laughs> okay and yeah, here I need a new target. Uh, it's 192, 168, and 178.98. Okay, root. Yeah, I'm gonna save this. And I'm gonna call it RG350 Wi Fi. 300 megabit so I know that this is my other dongle so let's connect they're gonna exchange the SSH keys for security okay let's navigate to our SD card yeah we have all these copies of these 5 megabyte files just gonna quickly delete them and let's copy the 5 megabyte file again yeah and even over Winners CP, we see it's a quite lower transfer rate here again. So we have the same offset in between what direct Wi Fi download from the internet um, or uh, download via Win Winners CP over Wi Fi. So still, USB is the fastest transfer rate um, compared to Wi Fi, but I still prefer Wi Fi since the difference is not too big. Um, since I, I love to have the freedom. To use the thing without a cable. If I do transfer large files like PlayStation 1 ROMs, I'm gonna remove my internal or uh, my external SD card, put it into my PC and copy it over. Nothing is faster than this. So for small files it's still okay with the uh, Wi-Fi transfer.
Okay, that's all I wanted to show you guys. Um, I wonder what the reason could be for this slow Wi-Fi transfer rates because I don't get a point. Uh, I don't know why it is that slow. So if you guys have any ideas, uh, I'd appreciate to, to get some ideas in the comments. Maybe I can try out something to fix or to solve this. For now, that's it. Just a little comparison video. Um, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. Um, it would mean a lot to me to know if you like videos like this because it's very different to the videos I did before. I wish you happy gaming and see you in my next videos. Bye.